Good afternoon, guys. Well, the Trump administration, they say, is getting ready to nearly double the rate of refugee admissions for balance of 2 of 17. Um, that we need to stop. It says, uh, of course, it's the New York Times reporting, so how much can you believe? But anyway, if it's true, then we need to stop it. Um, and uh, it says the current rate of refugee admissions to the United States is for the balance of F FY uh, 217 from the current rate of 830 per week to 1500 per week. Despite repeated efforts by President Trump to curtail refugee resettlements, the State Department this week quietly lifted the department's restriction on the number of refugees allowed to enter the United States. Um, this we got to stop, period. The result could be a near doubling of refugees entering the country from about 830 people a week in the first three weeks of this month to well over 1,500 people per week by next month. According to refugee advocates, tens of thousands of refugees are waiting to come to the United States. Um, the State Department's decision was conveyed in an email on Thursday to the private agencies in countries around the world that help refugees manage the nearly two-year application process needed to enter the United States. That was not being done. The two-year process was not being done at all with Obama. In her email, Jennifer L. Smith, a department official, wrote that the refugee groups could begin bringing people to the United States unconstrained by the weekly quotas that were in place. Uh, it is unclear if the State Department made this upward adjustment with the knowledge and approval of President Trump, the Department of Justice, however, was apparently consulted. We will see what happens, but we need to let them know that we are indeed against it. Uh, DHS Kelly, uh, surrender, whatever. It says he surrendered, but DHS will likely increase foreign worker outsourcing visa. Um, it says uh, Secretary John Kelly has promised the big business lobby tens of thousands of cheaper blue-collar foreign workers despite President Donald Trump's Higher American Initiative. During a hearing before the Senate Judiciary Committee, Kelly told senators that he was lobbied by the Financial and Open Borders lobby to expand the H-2B visa and also by pro-American worker groups who see the visa as a detriment to Americans' wages and job opportunities. They're caving to the business interests rather than the people that elected them, pro-American lawyer John Miano told Breitbart News. Everyone but the very top is being screwed by these immigration policies. Uh, the H-2B visa is for non-agriculture, low-skilled seasonal work supplying resorts, hotels, and seafood and landscaping industry with thousands of cheap foreign employees. Every year, 66,000 H-2B jobs are given to foreign workers, and this year, House Speaker Paul Ryan 217 budget gave Kelly the power to expand the number of foreigners who can enter the U.S. on visa by up to 70,000 more. Uh, that's like 70,000 jobs taken away from Americans because a lot of Americans could do those jobs and um, uh, the landscaping jobs I've I mean there's all kinds of people around here that do them and so I'm not sure I'm all for that I'm not in fact I know I'm not for it and uh, uh, it's just no Americans you know something with the unemployment rate like what we have? We need to hire Americans. Period. Uh, moving on. Uh, Facebook's Zuckerberg. Fight against nationalism struggle of our time. And uh, Zuckerberg needs to have a rude awakening. Someone needs to take that boy and, and slap him hard. Nationalism is what made this country great. What what they're for, the open borders and all the rest, is going to destroy the nation. You don't even have to look any further than to look at Sweden, France, Germany, Netherlands, to know 
that open borders destroys an entire nation and it can destroy it in fairly short order so and by the way i just want to say this there is a place for some of the workers coming in from mexico absolutely um i know my buddy he's a sheep rancher and he'll hire two or three peruvians every year and you know he, he said it's it's almost impossible to find guys who will stay up in the mountains with the sheep i know i know all the jokes okay i've been there um but the fact is to get someone to watch the sheep the way they need to be watched it's tough and even the peruvians they get these guys coming along and they offer them jobs good paying jobs elsewhere and so he's lost them they just go and then they skip out on they stay longer than the visa is meant for and uh, then they have a bugger of a time getting back into the country anyway um, I mean I get that there is a place for some of them and it's been that way forever but I'm just saying it doesn't need to be increased Greg Allman of the Allman Brothers Band dies at the age of 69 you know I tell you what they put out some great music and uh, um, that's all I can say you know uh, he died Saturday he was 69 I didn't say let me see if it says what he died of uh, he said they just said he, he passed away peacefully which means he was on um, oh yeah you guys know what I'm thinking of it's a drug that just morphine that's what it is um, anyway I'm going to cancel some 216 tour dates uh, including on August 5th that he was under his doctor's care at the Mayo Clinic due to serious health issues I'm guessing he had cancer is what I'm guessing and um, uh, anyway they made some great music that's for sure may he rest in peace and I thank him and the rest for the music that they put out it was great that's all for now. God bless you all. Have a good night. Bye-bye.